I'm assuming many of you, uh, we were very appalled at the passage of HB2 here in North Carolina. There's stripping our LGBT brothers and sisters of their constitutional rights. And uh, we felt that instead of canceling the show, as uh, many of our uh, contemporaries have in, in this state, that we would come here and, and do this as a benefit for both uh, song, which is something that's on the ground, and here's our... So, uh, are you a boy or a girl? I don't see how that matters at all, really. I'm going to need to see some documentation uh, to make sure you're using the right stadium. Um, there are women and children in the audience, and I need to make sure they're safe. Okay. Uh, just, just so you guys know, uh, no women and children have ever been uh, threatened in any way by the trans community at all. You're all about emotions. That's not really masculine. <laughs> I don't know what to say to that, Ash. <laughs> right, right, we're gonna have to shut this whole show down. It's, okay. it's gotta stop. Okay, well, but hold on a second. There's a lot of people who work here who make their living from working in the venue, from putting on these shows. We can't just undercut their livelihood because we don't agree. We don't really care. Wait, wait. Why are you picking on Ben? I don't really see a problem here. I mean, first of all, no one fits a gender identity. And secondly, isn't the song called I'll Follow You Into the Dark, not the bathroom? <laughs> I'm going to turn the stage over to these lovely people really quickly so they can tell you about their organization song, and we'll be on in just a few minutes to play some music for you.